Hi, welcome to this tutorial in which you're going to get a chance um, to practice some questions on solving equations uh, with fractional powers. For every page that I get to, uh, please try to pause and have a go at the questions and then come back and see how you've done. I'm confident you'll do well. Okay, the first question um, it's x to the power of a half equals 12 and if we use rule 1 n is 2 so it's the second root which means it's the square root of x is equal to 12 as I've said in the last tutorial um, it's best to just say what do I square root to get 12 but well, the answer is obviously 144 but if you need a method you say you square both sides and the left hand side will give you x and 12 squared is 144 and you can refer to the last tutorial to see why it is um, if you square a square root you get what's inside it the second question it's x to the power of a third and again using rule number one um, it, n is 3 so it's the cube root of x is equal uh, to 4 uh, this 3 is a little bit too large. Again, what do you cube root to get 4? Well, if, you look at, if you've been through the last tutorial, you know that if you cube root 64, you get 4. So what we're going to do is cube both sides, and that's what we get. And if we cube the cube root of x, we get x and the cu uh, 4 cubed is 64. Again, let me just remind you the cube root means x to the power of a third and we're going to raise it to the power of 3 because if you multiply um, those two powers a third of 3 is 1 and you've got to cube the 4 as well so I'm going from here and this will give you x because a third of 3 is 1 equals to 64. Okay, how did you get on with these two? I hope you managed them. The next one is x to the power of 5 thirds equals 32. So, what power do we raise both sides to? Such that if I multiply the 5 thirds by this power I'll get 1. Now if you remember the trick from the last tutorial is to use the reciprocal of 5 thirds or just turn it upside down and you get 3 fifths. So we need to raise both sides to the power of 3 fifths. The left hand side will give you x to the power of 1 because 5 thirds times 3 fifths is equal to 1. If you cancel these powers you'll get the numerator 1 times 1 is 1, the denominator 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 divided by 1 is 1. Now, so x is equal to 32 to the power of 3 fifths. If we now go to rule number 2 we can see that n is 5. So it's the fifth root of 32 to the power of 3 where m is 3. So what number do I multiply by itself 5 times to give me 32? Well the answer is 2. So I've got to cube the 2 and if I do that I get 8. Be careful not to say it's 2 times 3 which is 6. Did you manage this one? I hope so. In this next one I've introduced a term on the left hand side and in the last tutorial I hadn't done an example like this if you'd like to pause and have a go and then come back okay the first thing we need to do is to make sure we have just one term on either side so the first thing to do then is to add two to both sides so we end up with 5 x to the power of negative a half equals to 6 
And then we need to think of this as 5 times 1 over x to the power of a half using rule number 1 on the bottom right hand corner. And that equals to 6. And of course this 5 is 5 over 1. 5 times 1 is 5. 1 times x to the power of a half is x to the power of a half and that equals to 6. If we multiply both sides by x to the power of a half we get 5 equals 6 times x to the power of a half. If we divide both sides by 6 we get 5 6 is equal to x to the power of a half okay, which is the square root of x based on rule number 2. If I now square both sides I get x equals to 5 6 all squared and 5 squared is 25 and 6 squared is 36. So the answer is 25 over 36. Did you manage this one? I certainly hope so. In the last one, which is a bit more challenging, I've introduced a fraction raised to a negative power. Now, if you look at rule 1, if you remember, if you have a fraction raised to a negative power, you, um, you interchange the denominator and the numerator, swap them upside down, and the power becomes positive. So if we apply rule 1, we'll get x over 4 to the power of a half equals to 9. Based on rule 2, that power of a half means the square root of x over 4 equals to 9. Now if we square both sides, we get uh, the square root of x over 4 all squared equals to 9 squared, which is 81. Now the left hand side becomes x over 4 equals to 81. Multiply both sides by 4. 4 times 81 is equal to 324. There are other ways of doing this question, but this is the way I've decided to do it. Okay? Uh, just to point out that if you're troubled about going from there to there, then think of it as x over 4 to the power of a half for the square root raised to the power of 2. And if you multiply these two together, you get 1. Hence you get the x over 4 here. Well, I hope you found that useful. On to the next one. Take care. I hope you did manage that last one as well. Thank you.